Hi guys! So I am so excited to be doing this video because I am officially done with my third semester of nursing school and I'm so excited because I am going to be heading into my very last semester of nursing school which means I'm just one step closer to being done and getting my RN. So this video is just going to be kind of a summary of my entire semester, things I liked, things I disliked, what I've been doing, and all of that fun stuff. So this semester started in January and I just finished now and it is May and over this entire semester I have been doing so 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 many things. The first thing I've been doing the entire semester is I have been taking a class called community health and I've also been having community health clinicals. So the entire semester I've been having a lecture class on community health and then every Friday I actually had clinical for community health and I was doing um, some of my clinicals with a school nurse and then another part of my clinicals I was doing um, at these like homeless apartments working with people who were homeless. The other classes that I had over this semester were the first half, so the first seven weeks of my semester, I was in OB, which I absolutely loved. So I had an OB lecture class that was twice a week, and then I also had OB clinicals slash labs. So some weeks I'd have just clinicals, some weeks I'd have just labs, some weeks I'd have clinicals and lab. It kind of just depended. Um, and this is while I was still doing community health as well. So it was definitely a lot of work to be doing community health and OB, clinicals and lab for each of them. So then the second half of the semester I was in peds and I it was the same thing as OB. I had a peds lecture and peds clinical slash lab rotation. So my typical schedule looked like on Monday I had lecture for either peds or OB depending on which half of the semester and also community health. And then on Tuesday, I'd have lab or clinical. On Wednesday, I would have community health and then um, peds or OB. And then Thursday was lab or clinical. And then Friday was my clinical for community health. So it was a lot, a lot of things, as you can tell. Um, but I also have absolutely loved this semester. OB and peds have been so enjoyable for me. I love working with babies. I love working with moms. I love working with kids. And so I was super stoked going into the semester, um, knowing all the things I was going to be learning about. And then it just, you know, exceeded my expectations throughout the semester. And I absolutely loved it. A lot of people ask me what semester I have thought was the hardest. And honestly, I think every semester of nursing school is difficult. It's just difficult in its own way. So the first semester of nursing school was a lot of basic skills, learning, you know, bedpans and bed changes and how to give injections and things like that. Um, but the reason why it was difficult is because I was planning a wedding, I got married, I was working a lot, um, and it's just hard, you know, you're just adjusting to the style of, you know, questions on tests and how things work for nursing. Um, my second semester was adult health and psych, and it was just a lot of heavy content um, for the for the test and also a lot of clinicals as well. So that was difficult. And then this semester was just a lot of things. I had double clinicals for two different types of nursing fields and then also double lectures throughout the entire semester. So it was a lot of work, but you know, it was worth it and I survived and I'm super excited to be done with this semester. So I just wanna talk a little bit about what I liked about each rotation for clinicals slash um, lectures. So I'm just gonna start with OB. OB has been my absolute favorite Favorite. I have always loved moms, I've always loved babies, and OB just was great. I had a great lecturer teacher, clinicals were great, I got to, you know, assist with delivering babies and, you know, cleaning them off and doing their vitals and their initial assessment. I got to watch C-sections and emergency C-sections and I got to, you know, educate moms on breastfeeding and postpartum care and it just, it, I loved it. I loved everything about it and I really do hope one day to be a labor delivery nurse or a NICU nurse, um, but I just loved OB overall so so much. Next is peds and I really really liked peds. I love working with kids. I love that kids have an innocence. They usually don't cause their own problems and I really like that. I really like working with families that have kids because peds is not just working with one patient. It's working with your their entire family. You know you have to be supportive of the parents the grandparents, the family and friends, because when your kid is sick, it can be a really hard time, not just for the kid, but the whole family in general. And so I think that was my favorite part of peds, was just treating the whole family and looking at the whole family other than just looking at the patient that's in the bed. Next is community health. And I have to admit, community health 
wasn't my favorite. I just really love um, the hospital setting for nursing and so community health is not in a hospital setting, it's in the community obviously. Um, so it wasn't necessarily my favorite type of nursing but I really appreciate the experience and knowledge that I gained from community health. I look at nursing in a different way now. I look at my patients not just as okay what is your illness? How are we going to treat it right now? I look at more as, okay, so what are you going to be doing when you go home? How is your illness, how is your situation going to play a part in your life and the lives of others? So I think that is one great thing that I took from community health and I hope to carry that throughout my entire nursing career. All right, next I just want to talk a little bit about how I survived this semester. So like every semester, you just have to take it one day at a time breathe, there's going to be moments where you feel so overwhelmed, there's going to be moments where you feel like, okay, I got this, and there's going to be moments where you be like, why am I doing this? Why am I in nursing? And I think that goes for everyone. It's just a roller coaster of emotions and feelings throughout the entire semester. So how I survived was, one, I did procrastinate. I, you know, studied a little bit every day. I worked really hard. Um, I used my resources with practicing in labs or, you know, talking to my teachers and professors and, you know, studying with friends. And if you guys are interested in finding out more about the tips on how I survived nursing school, I'll actually leave that video down below. I go more into detail about uh, specific things that you can do. But just in general, how I survived the semester was a lot of hard work, uh, taking things day at a time, not trying to think too much in advance to get overwhelmed. Um, and that has been working for me for the past couple semesters. So what is next? Next I have one semester left and I am so excited to be almost done. I have a two week break and I begin again on May 18th and I start uh, critical care. Um, in the ICU and so I have a lecture on that. I have critical care clinicals and then I also have like a leadership class I think and um, a capstone class and our capstone is like our big project for the last semester where you do a big research project and you have to write a huge like 40 or 50 page paper. It's like insane. So it's going to be really crazy and then I also will have my immersion for the second half of next semester um, where I, I'm i not sure where my immersion is yet. I haven't been placed anywhere yet but it's going to be working one on one with a preceptor and that should be really fun. So I'm looking forward to this semester. Typically my semesters are 14 weeks long but I chose to do my last semester over the summer so it's going to be about 10 weeks long and so that's four weeks that are going to be just like crammed into the 10 weeks if that makes sense. I'm excited because it's like I can see the light at the end of the tunnel but I'm also anxious because I heard the last semester can be kind of difficult and then to cram it into such a short amount of time um, I'm just worried I'm going to be kind of a little overwhelmed, but I'm excited because it's like even if I'm overwhelmed, it's like I'm almost done. I can count down, you know, 10 weeks and then I'll be graduating and, you know, taking the NCLEX and I will be doing a video on how I'm preparing for the NCLEX and what I'm doing for that later on uh, once I kind of know what I'm going to do to prepare for the NCLEX. I have some ideas and I've kind of done some starting, like studying stuff, um, but I plan on doing a video on tips to prepare for the NCLEX once I know more tips on how to prepare for the NCLEX. So that is it. That's a little summary on my third semester of nursing school. I, you know, I love nursing and I've said that so many times before. I'm so thankful for my school and the program that I'm in. I feel like I'm learning so much. I feel like I'm becoming such a well-rounded um, nurse and I'm excited to take every experience and little bit of knowledge that I have learned over the past few semesters and take that with me for my future nursing career. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. I do tons of videos, nursing videos, recipe videos, vlogs, all kinds of stuff, whatever I'm feeling like. So subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.